Are we rolling yet? Uh, we're just waiting for the EMF to start up. Okay. And we're up. All right. Let's get the formalities out of the way. Spirit, if you can hear me, my name is Macy Hartford. I'm the one who will be conducting this discussion. Okay. It's okay. Spirit, what brings you here? Oh, this is weird. <laughs> My name's not Spirit. Hi. Name's Gus. I'm guessing you came to hear my story and uh, what I'm doing here. I'm not buying it. I think what we're witnessing here is a facade. Typically, it's not a real haunting. It's a draft or pipes in the walls. Enrique, quit messing around. Hi, I'm Ruth Wallace. And I'm Fred Wallace. We've lived in this house for over 20 years and nothing like this has ever happened before. I don't know who this demon is or where he came from, but I, we need him to leave. I mean, we just want to live in our home in peace. Why does this keep happening to us? <laughs> I guess I'm not sure why I'm here. Trust me, I've tried to leave. Mr. and Mrs. Wallace, you left the door open. Oh, sorry. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. I learned rather quickly that I don't have to feel alone. Uh, the Wallaces have taken great care of me. They're hysterical. They have this ongoing joke of cursing at random things around the house. <laughs> Damn you, you! Foul beast! You foul beast! They're also very religious people. Almost a little cultish if you ask me. But, you know, whatever makes you feel safe. Did I mention this place is haunted? Yeah, apparently by some demon. <laughs> It's just a draft. I've never seen it though. <laughs> I just want this demon out of my house. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wallace. We can't say that word. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want this ghost out of my house. Cut. Well, it's like there's somebody always here, you know, and you can forget about making whoopee. I mean, what, what are you gonna do, have a menage a ghost? And, and you feel like you're always being judged too. Like, ha ha, not everything's big in Texas, ha ha ha. Or that, that, that same old trick again, God, learn something new, will you? Like, go read foreplay for dummies. I mean, it's, it's just hard, or it's not. Fred, I think we've got everything that we oh. need. Thank you. All right. Okay, is this on, is this on? Okay, there's something really weird happening, guys. I, I can't explain it. Uh, it's something that we've never seen before. Um, I, I don't know what to is do. Is okay? What are you doing? I'm just uh, uh, making sure the, the lens is clean. That's all. Well. I was wrong. It was not pipes or a draft in the house. 
It was indeed paranormal activity happening in this house. He doesn't seem to be malicious, though. In fact, he's pretty friendly. Sure, we all have our ups and downs. But at the end of the day, we have to cherish every moment we have together. Not just with Fred and Ruth, but with myself as well. And I believe when you truly care for one another, it can only lead to good things happening. I mean, the first time that I saw a book floating in the bedroom there, I almost went boo-boo in my bloomers. You remember that? I remember. Yeah, I almost had like a big old Count Dookie come right out of my Death Star there. Ooh, strong with this one, the forces! That's right. Yeah, a big old turd torpedo came right out of the silo, just like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like, excuse me, clean up on aisle two? It was pretty unforgettable. It was unforgettable. It was like... Um, um, Ruth? Mmm, delicious. Thank you. Well, I tell you, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna sleep like I'm dead. Oh. Nothing personal, Gus. Meningslösa klyschor, ingen öppnar sig. Man stirrar bara tomt och pratar strunt och skrattar till. När man vänjer sig. Ah, I can't do this. Man vänjer sig. Ridiculous. Och jobbet som man gör, det har man ingenting för. Det är någon annan som drar nytta av det. Ingen aning vem man bara flyttar sina papper. Drar sina saker. Hämtar sina pengar. Det känns dumt och idiotiskt men man vänder sig. Man vänder sig. Oh, what are those? We don't have those.